Hello, I'm not sure if you remember me or not, but hi, my name is Will, and this is what my day usually consists of now, and this is Snowflake. Yes, I realise the name of my guitar Snowflake, yeah, deal with it, or don't, I don't really care. Speaking of remembering things, you may remember this, this is a one day using an internet video that one time, and I thought it made me look cool, but I realise now looking back on it, it makes me look like some lonely old guy in his mid-twenties who's trying to be cool. Even though I'm clearly not, and I'm just trying to show off on my diverse interests. Even though I'm in fact nowhere close to my mid-twenties, and in fact in my early twenties. You'll be pleased to hear though, that I've lost my magic powers, because OSX Lion's recent update has knocked out Rosetta, which means I can't use Vision Lab to make the poorly animated wand effect. And that's okay, because it probably makes me look all normal, which will help, because there may be that odd person out there who actually understands what I'm saying, and actually wants to be my friend. Until that tragic day when my friend buys me tickets to the Formula 1 race, even though I'm not particularly into Formula 1, and we go there, and I'm looking really miserable, and while we're sitting in our front row seats, he tells me a joke to try and cheer me up. And they lock him into the path of the one car, which looks really good, but no one think will ever win. That's ruining his appearance, and it's the only reason for fan base. Um, that was morbid. Uh. Speaking of awkward transitions, Chameleon Circuit just released a new album, which is good because even though I'm not really a fan of Doctor Who or really a fan of Chameleon Circuit's first album, it is growing on me and I think I should check out the first album again. Also, Hank Green released Dylan Hardcastle, which is an amazing album. And Mike Dixon released Trims of the Bannister, which is his new EP, which is absolutely fantastic in both its melodies and its lyrics. And it's currently sitting in the vault of my iTunes library like the cleverly crafted piece of gold it is. Not that I'm not saying that all the albums in my iTunes library are cleverly crafted pieces of gold in the vault of my iTunes library, but you know. It's just really good. Anyway, that about does it for me. I might make another one of these at some point soon, but that's basically what's going on at the moment. Thank you, goodbye, and thank you for watching. This is Snowflake. Snowflake says goodbye, I say goodbye, as does the wand, which I think is over there somewhere. So thank you, goodbye. Also, speaking of remembering things, you may remember this. <laughs> this is <a> moment. <laughs> The cellotape I just randomly picked up. You happened to see my script on my light pole just next to my camera lens because I thought it wouldn't make me look like I was looking in a different direction, but I actually looked at the camera lens, which I wasn't because it's clearly down to the side of my camera lens, so it actually makes me look like I'm looking in the viewfinder. Even though the viewfinder is actually on the back of the camera, so I'm not tempted to look at it or turn it around to see it. Instead of a Richard sitting behind the back of the camera, who sees it for me? How was that? <laughs>